what's up YouTube here's the next video running the load using the Amazon Relay app so first thing you're gonna do is open the app click start work the next screen is gonna pop up vehicle select the vehicle height requirements am I bringing empty trailer no click next it auto arrives at the facility they're going to ask for last four load ID. You can click tap after scan after you've given the load ID or after they've scanned it. If you're at a smaller warehouse, then the yard rules are going to come up. Click confirm. And then if your load is ready, it'll tell you what parking space your load is in. So once you find the parking space, you'll enter the last four uh, numbers of the trailer ID. If it's a loaded trailer or if it's an empty trailer, you'll have to put in the whole trailer number or the... Um, the license plate and then this vehicle the trailer inspection will come up those are some options of things you might find wrong with the trailer click the box click next and then when you get back to the gate they might ask for the load ID yet again um, something that happened on this load for me is that it didn't create a BOL as you see it says no documents so I had to get um, a bill, bill lading from the, the actual guard check so this is just some things you can do. You can exit. You can go out and see your schedule, pick up deliveries, where you're going, how many stops you have, you know, whatnot. Uh, once you're done, you can just kick resume work. After you're done, ready to leave this, the facility, tap after checkout, and then it'll automatically take you back to this screen, and it'll start building the navigation route. To your next stop which is, this one right here is the 59th Avenue in Phoenix it takes a little while to build it and then it'll open up the turn by turn directions that is always supposed to send you on a, a um, truck safe route so it'll take a little while you see a little status bar down there by start and then it's kind of nice it always gives you a kind of like weather advisories before you actually start driving um, and actually, you know, start the, the navigation. You can um, put stops and stuff, you know, uh, fuel stops, rest rest areas, truck washes. So, I mean, it is a pretty uh, pretty decent navigation system for being their own little thing. If you had a delay, you click down at the bottom there, report delays. These are some of the options, reasons why you have delays that you can select, and then you can add little comments down there at the bottom. Uh, just to further inform them so then here we're going to be arriving at the facility in Phoenix and um, where it's sending me is the normal gate they were actually doing road construction so I had to drive past it to another uh, a different gate that they normally don't use so it di it actually didn't detect my arrival like it normally would so down there at the bottom it says need help with arrival you would click on that yes yeah, so need help with arrival app not detecting arrival click on that and then there it gives you your your vrid barcode and once again the guards gonna ask for the last four of that gate pass load ID the ZT 7q and and I went in, went ahead and dropped the trailer. They always don't, um, put the stuff in the system rider properly, something where, like, it actually won't show where the trailer's being dropped, and if you're dropping and picking up, it's always good to have, like, some type of, um, like a notepad or something like that, some scratch paper to jot it down on. That That's looking at my next load, kind of off the load board screen. And then here, we're going back in the app, start of the next trip just a quick trailer move across town so starting the whole thing again open the app select the vehicle empty trailer you bring in a trailer or no it's going to start the navigation all by itself so as it waits for the navigation to build the uh, the trip and now it's calculating the route and it's going to once that little status bar fully you could click start right away, but I mean, just kind of showing you the, the amount of time it takes and that you can put stops or whatever you needed, you know, fuel stops, rest break. So 
pretty decent turn by turn. I mean, you know, speed. And we're going to be arriving here at the Goodyear facility. And then once we arrive at the Goodyear facility, it'll, it'll auto detect the arrival, and the screen will change to the login screen that you've arrived. Once again, the last four of that load ID. And every single time you arrive at a facility, once you tap that after scan, it gives you those yard rules. And my load wasn't ready when I first got there. And then as soon as it was ready, it tells you where the trailer is located up all by itself. I mean, just loading in progress. And then there the load's ready. Tell me to go pick my trailer up at parking slip 711. So since it's a loaded trailer, we put in the last four of the trailer ID. All right, and then the trailer inspection screen will pop up again. And if there's nothing wrong with the trailer, you don't have to do anything. But if there was an issue, you just click down there at the bottom, report an issue with the trailer. Otherwise, do the uh, by clicking, you certify that you inspect the trailer and then continue. And then it says the trailer is in parking slip 771. We already knew that. So then the next thing it should load is the bill lading. And then once the bill lading um, comes up, you just verify that it is the right thing that you're picking up. Delivery at the right warehouse, you get your weight right off there. Um, most Amazon loads, when, when you look look for them on the load boards, they uh, they don't have weight on them because they're so so lightweight. I mean, this load was like 7,000 pounds or something, I think. But the V-Ridge will open up again right there because sometimes at the gate they'll ask for the V-Ridge again before you leave, the last four load number. And then it's just going to navigate us to the next side in Glendale and start with the turn by turn directions again. All right, so this load was a little bit different. Um, I was supposed to be bringing a loaded trailer to Glendale and picking up an empty and bringing it back to Goodyear, but when I got to Glendale, they informed me that they didn't have any empties. So you'll be able to see at the end of this video um, how we address that issue. But so we're in route. Once we get there, they're going to ask for the same thing. Uh, load ID and you can I'll show you on the screen it's they need a load ID for the load you're dropping off and a load ID for the empty trailer that you're picking up so you could just hit the arrow up in the top left corner and then go to view schedule down there at the bottom and then the dark green is the load that's completed the blue is the one you're working on so if you click on that this screen picks up and then you got the load ID for the drop off down there at the bottom and then the load ID for the pickup empty trailer up in the top second section. So once you give them those, once again, like I said, every, every Amazon yard, they're gonna have the, the yard rules. And then it says, you know, drop off skirted trailer. And I, yeah, this time it, it, they gave me the, the actual dock door to drop it off at. So you find the dock door, back it up, select drop off trailer. And like I said, they didn't have any empties. So um, I just had to leave the facility empty handed and um, kind of park outside the gate and then had to go hit the uh, arrow there in the top left corner again and report um, trip issue so you go down to support center and then request a callback and then you can select no empties and because it wasn't within 30 minutes of my departure time it wouldn't let me do anything there it gives you the the um, the little note 30 minutes of, of scheduled departure time so I got to take an hour-long nap because this was pretty early in the morning 3 30 in the morning and then uh, closer to my departure time I did the, the whole thing again and sometimes they'll actually call you a lot of times um, they'll just automatically change it which is what they did for me on this one they, they went ahead and changed the load to a uh, bobtail so here I am going back in, going to the support center, request callback, no empties, um, submit, and then immediately, I mean it was almost instantaneously, as soon as I hit that submit, they uh, they went ahead and changed it and this screen came up, that the load was finished, so tap to close, and then they still wanted me to bobtail back to Goodyear, but it's kind of pointless to bobtail back to a facility if you're not bringing them anything. So this is how you get around that. You can go to, uh, 
um, once this thing starts navigating, oh yeah, actually you, you wouldn't even have to wait. Um, down there at report arrival issues, just like we did at the Phoenix facility, as long as you're within 50 miles of the the um, the location that you're supposed to be going to, if, if you're within 50 miles of, of the warehouse, uh, it can uh, see. I mean, it just says bobtail, so I mean, there, there, there's no point in me driving back. I'm not picking a hang up. I'm not bringing them anything. All, all I'm doing is wasting fuel and polluting the environment more. So, yeah, you can just um, go back to to navigate to site report arrival issues, app not detecting arrival, and then it'll ask you, you must be at the facility to proceed, and just click yes. Are you at the yard? Yes, I'm at the yard, and tap after scan, and because it always gives you that yard rules, and then it finishes the loadout, and then there you go, my schedule. There's there's nothing on that because uh, it completed the load for me, and I was done with my work for the day. But yeah, I mean, that's how couple different um, scenarios of running loads with Amazon Relay so just a single two stop one pickup one drop and then a, uh, a mul the second one was supposed to be a multiple stop you know pick it pick it up a round trip pick it up Goodyear go to Glendale and I was supposed to bring a trader back to Goodyear but they didn't have any so yeah that's it so hopefully this is helpful and if it is make sure to like and subscribe awesome thanks everybody have a great day bye